I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkPad T460 model. These are the higher end Lenovo's. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the mechanical hard drive or SSD hard drive to a bigger capacity. The tools that you're going to be needing for this process is a screwdriver set kit. I use the iFixit tool set. They come with a two version, a standard version and the pro version that they give you opening tools. These tools are really good because the beds will last you a long time. They use a high grade metal. I believe it's an S2 metal that they use and they don't go bad. You're going to be using Philips number zero. And if you don't have the pro version, you need a guitar pick or any opening tool. I use a metallic guitar pick. They have a really soft edges, so it's really hard to scratch, scratch and it's tough to bend. So a guitar pick or any opening tool that you can find. All right, first you want to power off the laptop completely and you want to flip it over and remove the external battery. There's a two batteries that they come in this uh, models. There's an internal one and there's an external one. The external battery to remove it, you have to pull it backward while you pull this trigger to one side. Pull the trigger to one side and pull it back just a little bit. And then same thing, pull this trigger to the other side and then slide out the battery and then go ahead and now what you want to do, you want to unscrew all the screws at the bottom, including the one right in the back in the middle. So removing all the screws, just remember these screws, they have a C-lock on them, so it will prevent the screw coming out. So you just have to uh, just rotate them, just do like a six, seven turns on each screw until you feel like it's loose enough. Also, I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. I really helps out and motivates me to make more videos, take requests. All right, now that we got all the screws loosened up, what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to just twist it. I'm sticking about two or three millimeters. You don't need to stick the whole thing inside. Do the sides, go to the corner back and just wobble around, wiggle around the guitar pick or the opening tool and then go to the other side go all the way to the, where the power jack is HDMI, once you have all of them loose up a little bit then you want to close it down and while you're lifting up just wiggle it around and it should come up pretty easy that's the bottom cover and the C-locks are right under the screws that prevents them from coming out. All right, down here, the internal battery is right here. If you want to disconnect it, just pull this jack backward and the battery will get disconnected. But you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery if you want to upgrade the hard drive or the RAM. So that's not necessary. The SSD hard drive is right here. You cannot put any M.2 or NVMe drives on this ones. You can only upgrade the SSD SATA drives, which are right here. To remove this one, there's a one screw at the back, which is Phillips number zero. Go ahead and remove this screw. This screw will come out and is a short screw. Next, what you want to do, you want to lift it up a little bit, about 30 degrees, and then pull it out, and you see the drive coming out. And you can see this is a 512 gigabyte uh, Samsung SSD. If you want to upgrade to a two terabyte or one terabyte, just grab your new SSD. Let me see if I have one around here. There is an SSD I have here. This is a 200 gig and this is a mechanical one. And to remove it, you just have to pull this caddy, whatever you want to call it, outward. Make sure the alignment is which way they go in so it was like this so the SATA was right there you don't have to remove this foil tape you don't need to and grab the new drive put it in the same position that this one was on right here you see the SATA short one here and the power cable uh, jack is right over on the other side so in the same position put it in 
Let's take the caddy in place and then bring it down in 45 degree angle, slide it in and push it down towards the board. And then we can put the screw right on top. If you want to put a mechanical drive, same thing, they, they work the same way. Grab the mechanical drive, make sure they're positioned, so it's put it this way, don't put it that way around. Stick it in there. Put the caddy in place, slide it down, put the screw right in there. So, depending which one you want, some people prefer mechanical and some people solid state drive. And this one has a little aluminum sheet on it, so you can just plug it in, bring it down, slide it in, and push it towards the motherboard, grab the screw, and then just lock it down. At the end, if you have disconnected the battery, go ahead and plug in the battery. Before you power on, you must cover, put the bottom cover because there's a little sensor trigger right here that they detect that there is no cover and it will not turn on. Once you change the hard drive, you will need to install the new operating system in your new drive. And if you don't want to install the new operating system drive from scratch, you can clone your main hard drive to the new hard drive by down following the links in my description. There's a program you can download free and you will need an adapter before the process. Before you open the laptop, grab any of the SATA to a USB adapter. And you wanna connect your new drive via USB port to your computer and open the program and it will clone the main hard drive that you have here to the, this new drive that you're gonna be placing in here. So once you do the swipe, you can power on and everything will work just fine. So that's one way to clone up, but if you want a fresh install, you can just do a fresh install using a USB thumb drive. And by going to a Microsoft website, the link in the description, to download the new syst operating system and install it freshly installed. All right, once you put the bottom cover, you just want to press down the sides, make sure you hear those clicks and the last thing would be to just tighten up the screws, place them right there. And the middle one at the back by the battery. The one in the corner. There. There we go. And do a last push down, make sure everything goes in place. If you see any opening, just pinch them. Grab the, the battery and just slide it in and you are all set. And this is how you upgrade or remove or replace your mechanical or SSD drive for your Lenovo T460. Again, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.